Hey guys, welcome in. Got something new for you guys today. Um, obviously, you're in my room, so I thought I'd switch it up to you guys guessing a little bit. Um, haven't done this for a while. It kind of blinds me as I go, but hopefully it looks cool, you know, from your end. I got a new project for you guys. It's called a Silhouette Identity Project. Um, it's one I've done a, a couple years now consistently, and it's one of my favorite ones because it gets a lot of identity um, in it. It has a little silhouette in it and it has to do with a lot of things that kids like without having to actually do a portrait um, with themselves. You know, as far as realistic eyes, nose, mouth, it just basically has the outline and then it's filled with a bunch of stuff that has to do with you. Um, so I, usually how I start this off is I have them think of six things. I have them think of six things that kind of represent themselves. I always give the example of me, you know, maybe three of mine would be basketball, family and shoes. Um, most people know that stuff about me right off the bat. I can come up with those pretty easily. And even as I come up with those, I start to think about things from those words from basketball. What symbols come in my head from that um, family? What kind of symbols or um, things I can represent visually come out of that? And then shoes, obviously, I have tons of ideas of things that come um, in my head about things like that that I can represent on a piece of paper besides just the words. Um, and that's your main goal. You can use words in this, but obviously I want it to be more about the symbols, logos, and designs um, besides just the word and lettering from there. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go down to my computer and give you guys some ideas up here on the board. Um, but I thought this would just be a cool way to kind of introduce um, a little different way and give you a little better feel into kind of my world and actually what my classroom looks like when I give instructions. So let's get right into it. So um, this is on my Instagram. This is from a, a previous class, but this is kind of where the project kind of leads into as they start getting all their ideas. But before that, so let's kind of rewind. Before that, what I want and what I usually have is just a blank uh, Word document that I put up on the board. And then I give them a very, very large sheet. So it's a big sheet of paper. Um, it's a little bigger than I normally do. Um, but I like that about it. It gives them a lot of room, a lot of opportunity. Okay, so I just have them tape it up on the board kind of setting it where you know they could trace themselves once that tape is up there then they can kind of set themselves and then after they just take their pencil they can basically just kind of trace around their silhouette or their shadow um, you can get some of the details now sometimes they have people actually trace themselves for them um, so they can actually do it with a partner, um, they can get their profile, or they can do it with themselves, just straight on. So I'm going to do the one with straight on, but I let them choose. So after I go through that, just nice and quick, so I don't have to stay still for too long. And then from there, they can take this and then obviously perfect it a little bit, um, get a little bit more detailed. Um, but I actually have kind of a duplicate of that right up here um, so you can see the profile on there and then they kind of have their list of things you know say there's six different things you know maybe on a separate sheet of paper that they have you know there's six they're one two three four five six words on there and hopefully they've had some ideas and symbols and logos that they've kind of researched and gone out and put started to put symbols onto there you know just kind of as a practice and then starting to throw those symbols onto their profile is where it starts getting a little tricky and kind of fun I think so say one of mine was basketball so I think I got my pencil here so maybe I would try to think of where I could kind of fit a basketball trying to not all be that same size um, one of my examples up here you know maybe had some similar size ones but I really really like the ones that have a variety of different sizes you know some really really big some a little smaller so from there maybe I would you know try to think about maybe how I could fit you know a basketball up in this region I would start out in pencil so I can kind of perfect it so it doesn't look as much like an egg and more like a basketball um, so maybe a little bit more like that and then you know I could try to get some of those details you want to do simple shapes um, you want them to be recognizable so a good thing to do is go on Google and I always type in clip art so not just basketball because basketball you know I maybe I would get some more realistic images of basketball um, but when I do clip art then I get some more simplified one um, so I can actually show you that over here so say I would just type in you know basketball 
up here and then I go to images and you know I might get some more realistic images maybe some basketball players but then if I did clip art from there it'll get me some more simplistic or simpler ideas of what maybe a basketball looks like I guess a little bit more manageable for some students to, to draw um, so from there you know then I could start thinking of ideas of how I could fit some of my other things you know I'd like Nike um, basketball shoes so maybe I could throw you know a Nike symbol kind of into here it's not a very good one <laughs> but I'm again I'm drawing on the computer but you kind of get the idea for how you can kind of switch the shape and the size of different things and different pieces on this and have them kind of flow together um, maybe I could do a shoe you know in kind of this part of it so you kind of sometimes people sketch an actual practice um, silhouette or um, uh, on, a, on just their practice sheet you know just do a little silhouette and start getting an idea for where these things kind of fall into here before they actually get their final sheet of paper um, then they have a better idea of how to fill you know some of these spaces and not only like I said you know varying the sizes um, some smaller some bigger um, and then thinking about how you want to do the background too I always tell my kids um, to try to have about 50 50 I do this as a black and white project um, so I try to think about how they could do 50 50 50% 50 black and 50% white so some of these you might actually color in in more like a black um, symbol Let's see so something more like this you know would be maybe the basketball but then some you know you would just go into um, and just outline with sharp so maybe the Nike symbol would be just kind of an outline in Sharpie, so that would be mostly white, where this would be almost all black, so that would already give me a little black. Maybe I would do a black section here, a white section here, black section, maybe I would do some sort of patterns or designs in here, and then kind of fill it up, and I'll show you some more finished, um, perfected ones from my other classes. Um, that was kind of the start of it, kind of throwing all the di little different symbols into there, starting to add Sharpie and color, um, and then we add also have the option of using the indie ink um, which some kids use for their background or even you know kind of painting instead of the sharpies just a little variation and variety for that as they're working on that um, and then as they start getting more and more and more um, these are some finished ones so hopefully it gets you some ideas on what those finished ones you know look like and a couple more examples so tons and tons of examples but you can definitely see you know the kids that spend a good amount of time on it. it's really you know about the effort because um, there's lots of good ideas that kids have but sometimes actually transferring those good ideas from a practice to actually a solid final piece of paper um, you can really tell that you know the different levels and the different abilities and it's not saying that you have to be a professional you know perfect drawer or have a lot of skill right away because a lot of them are really simple simplified um, symbols and logos um, that usually kids are good at doodling anyways if it's something that they're interested in um, so that's why I like this project um, so definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this project if you think it's a good idea give me a thumbs up and hit the like button below also give me a comment below on maybe some of your favorite things that you would throw into the silhouette identity projects things that identify you as um, I gave you some of mine so give me some of yours in the comments below make sure you hit that subscribe button um, if you're on a mobile Device, just click on um, in the description that'll be the best way to get all my videos on my feed I try to come up with a couple videos you know every week or every other week I'm throwing a lot of videos at you um, always let me know I'm always looking for new ideas so always get a hold of me um, in the comment section below or in class if I see you in class um, thanks a lot for viewing guys and we'll see you later